Thanks so much for having me here and for the coffee. It's cool. Lucky to be with you guys. Um, so tell me, what's what's the creative process been like for you during lockdown? Did you find the, the restrictions uh, hindered your artistic process or did you feel like it was a time where your thoughts were more focused? Milan, I must tell you, it's been like a semi-dream for me to be locked into um, an isolated situation where one could actually work. And I think the, the lockdown for me started very similar, and for Dina, started very similar to yours, everyone else's. And then as time progressed, we became a little bit more um, fixated on looking around our, our, within our four walls. And yeah, I'd been half prepared for a type of thing like this before, you know? I've been collecting things and, and objects and kind of looking at objects um, that I'd been collecting. So just like you did, probably w went through your drawers and your cupboards and things like that. And it started the creative juices flowing and it didn't take long before I've got a beautiful studio at home, Dean and I've got a beautiful studio at home and it didn't take long before we decided, you know, this is a great opportunity. You know, in, in, a, in, a, in a period of, of time which was uncertain with all of, you know, those implications. But for work, it was a great opportunity. It's amazing. Mm. Did, you, did you feel like it was maybe time you wouldn't have, have had in other circumstances if, if we hadn't been in lockdown? Or Yeah, definitely. Because it, it's, it was, you know, we've always had these projects in mind. And one day I'm going to do this. I'll keep this. I'll... I'll catalog it, I'll put it away, and one day I'm going to get the opportunity. Well, this was the opportunity for us, you know? So it, it's, it started off, we started scrounging around the studio, and um, with what limited resources we had in the studio, although I have quite an extensive um, like stock in the studio, um, we just started working. And not working with a specific kind of thing in, in, in mind, you know, having a... Um, a goal, but more just working for the sake of working and being creative. Tell us a bit more about this series. What makes it so special? It's, it's, it's quite difficult to, like, to put your finger on it, but the work that... that I'll tell you what actually happened. Is we were going through kits and boxes and, and trying to clean out of it, and I came across a portfolio of work of prints and um, proofs and, you know, the works that, 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 are, that were works in progress and some prints in, in, in the storage area. And we started looking at these and saying, how appropriate are some of these works in terms of their titles and, and the significance of, of, of what the content was? Before long, we were like disassembling these works and, and, and reappropriating um, prints and cutting them up and collaging them and just like playing with them. And it evolved into something which became a little bit more structured. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it became very exciting. And, and there seemed to be a link between what I'd been doing in the last 20 years and it seemed to have galvanized it into something which is more appropriate for, for the time. So we reconstituted the works, brought them back alive out of what you termed the, the thing uh, out the, of the, the, the works were in lockdown for 20 years or 18 years or 10 years or whatever they were yeah we just started working with them but with no great idea of having something significant at the end just to say to have fun and play and playing is creative and creative is playing so we had fun and mm -hmm. you were telling me this week how they're now they've all become one-off um, one of pieces. Well, what happened was because we didn't have access to the studio and we weren't able to print, what we, what we did was we took um, individual works and then we collaged them, we cut them up and then we reconstituted them by either spraying a virus into them or decorating them or hand coloring them. So they fall away from the edition that was the, what, which characterized them as, as part of a, a portfolio edition and they became unique works because we didn't have any more to produce, so we only used what we had. That's, that's mm. pretty cool, I yeah. really like that. Um, I think this is a very significant time in the history of the world. It's a very scary time and it's something we'll always remember. Uh, how do you think the series captures that? 
you, were, you know, you're talking about a lot of these works being in storage, um, but how appropriate they've been and how, how they've just perfectly fitted into your, your creative process right now. Well, they fitted into our creative process. No one's actually seen the work yet, so the, the judgment's still out on that. But, okay. but in terms of, of um, the significance of, of, of what, what we're in and, and, and um, how we deal with all our kind of situations, because we're all in the same thing together, it's just your war story will be different to mine because people have had hardships. But in the, on the overall kind of thing, the significance of these works, I think, um, helped me, first of all, um, become more introspective about what my previous work was about. And then with utilizing Dina's works in, 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 in the, the portfolio itself, there seemed to be a synergy between what Dina had been doing and what I'd been doing. And it was the first time we actually breathed a, a kind of a new life into, into the works. Mm -hmm. But significantly in terms of, of what is, um, the, the, the pandemic has had on us, I mean, that we all will suffer. And um, we will all come out of it because I think essentially at the end of the day, we're built to forget. So what we consider the new new, the new normal, it being locked down, and the new normal when we come out is going to have a profound effect on, on people's creativity, the way um, work is exhibited, all kinds of things. I think the world will change for, for a while, and then maybe we will go back to, to what we had as the, what we considered the normal. But I actually hope we don't. Yeah. yeah. Um, why do you think one of these pieces is the perfect memento for the art enthusiast or the art collector out there or just someone who would like to have a piece of history on their wall? Uh, I know you're a collector, so um, yeah. <laughs> if there are any more of you out there, then uh, th this work will do very well because what we've actually done is we've personalised works over 20 years that have the significance of the content, but what we've also done is we, we've brought it up to 2020 um, by looking at the way um, the virus has crept into all of our lives. So what we've decided to do then is to almost tattoo or um, create a, the, the virus in the work itself, not contaminate, the, the, but have a, an appropriate kind of um, stamping of of a period of time and i think for i think the person who who buys the work will first buy the work for the, the works itself and then people who want to remember or not remember mm -hmm. and you can have a work by not remembering as well you know you don't have to it doesn't have to be a memento of something that but something that we've all passed through and 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 we've all hopefully survived yeah, because mm. I think that's an interesting one. I think you were mentioning earlier, it's a, it's a time of hardship now for a lot of people, and we can't mm -hmm. look past that. But at the same time, it's definitely a time for resilience. It's a time for character building. It's a time for people to really dig deep, and hopefully after this, they can look back and think, you know, this was a very tough time, but we've managed to, you know, we've managed to, to stay standing and to come out of this maybe even stronger. So I think seeing that on a wall, it just kind of looking back at that in hindsight mm -hmm. yeah. could be quite cool. And what I also think, I agree completely with you, and what, but what I also think is that it's given, within every kind of adversity, there's, there's always been that, that, that light at the end of the tunnel. There's always been that optimistic outlook, um, no matter how bad during the Second World War or, or any of the, the conflicts that we've been through, is to actually find the good in it because there has to be some form of good in it and for me personally and for a lot of people I've spoken to it's that that chasing running chasing thing that we did before was like out of control and some people have actually started an artist that I, I work with their work has actually started to look as if they have stopped and looked and no longer just trying to create a product, but more looking at the environment around them and looking at what, they are, what they've seen for the first time. 
You know, some people have seen their gardens for the first time. Some people are taking rubbings off their brick paving and doing drawings with it. Mm. So it's, it's given us the opportunity to slow down, look back, look at ourselves maybe, and then reassess what, what we as individuals are. Mm. So that's the good side for me. I love that. Mm. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, where and when can people find this collection and how can they go about purchasing one of these pieces? Well, Dean has put this whole thing together in terms of, of ca cataloging it, photographing it, so maybe she can answer that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the um, portfolio of works um, will be available on our website. It's the bluedoorprintstudio.co.za mm -hmm. and also on the art.co.za platform. Um, uh, we've been working closely together with them, with Johnny and Marilyn, and um, it is available on their platform. And then um, on our social media links on Instagram, Facebook. Um, so if, if the links are available there under the Blue Door Print Studio. Cool. Oh. That's exciting. Yeah, mm. very. <laughs> Thanks so well, much. Well, we Matt. are. Yeah. I've really enjoyed this. Yeah. This, this was really fun. Yeah. Me too. I'm Thank looking you. forward to people seeing the work and. Yeah, enjoying it as much as I have enjoyed seeing it, so... Good. Good. <laughs>